Alright guys, another update from the procrastinator's garage. It's Wednesday night, about 5.36 o'clock. Doing this uh, flatbed uh, tow truck. So, got to wash and wax the cab. And then I am going to be polishing the sides here, making them shiny. And then I'm acid etching the deck. That'll be kind of what it looks like after. So it's gonna be fun. It's windy. It sucks. Um, this part was polished. A little tough spot they did. So the guy from uh, that I get my supplies from, uh, at CCS Distributing, they recommended they referred this guy to me. But he tested some spots, you know, to show the guy what can be done with it. So uh, I get the joys of doing it tonight. So uh, it's gonna be a long one. Um, and then I got these to put polish on. The rims, I'm not gonna really, probably just gonna wipe them down quick with polish. And then this box is all sides. It's all chrome. And the back side. So I clean all that up. That truck's pretty dirty. So oh <coughs> I hope I can fit it inside. We did a width measurement and seems like width wise it'll fit. So, yeah. Hope this all turns out good. So, uh, everybody have a good one. And uh, I gotta get started. And maybe I'll bring you along as I'm doing it. Well, about two hours later, <laughs> the freaking wind picked up. I had to call Jess. Matt was supposed to come here and help me, but he couldn't make it. So, uh. Yeah, just had to find some heavy things to put her down and protect all this other stuff from the acid. So. Bag of sand on the hood. Hopefully, I don't put a dent in the hood. I put it up there real light. <laughs> so, all right, we'll be starting in a little bit. Hey guys, uh, I got this flatbed here inside, washed up. The tape and plastic thing works pretty good, but you see a few spots of street. Uh, but hopefully that'll polish out. This is what I'm using. High gloss. Metal polish. Basically, uh, use on anything. Hand use, supply to service with a soft cloth using a circular motion. Turn cloth over, buff to shine from the machine. Use high speed buff. Buffer with a wool buffing pad. Use medium to high pressure to remove oxidation. Then reduce pressure to create maximum gloss. Now the lady at uh, CCS, she told me foam pad. So, uh, I don't know. I better just switch to a wool pad. Sorry guys. I had a foam pad on here. Well, I'm gonna have to buy a new wool pad after this. This is my good wool pad.
just an auto value. Like that, but well, let's give this a shot, eh? Oh, sure, got caught on the cord there, so that's the pad loaded up.
Gordon. Ja. Yeah, there's little streaks. So, yeah, I don't know. Guess that's how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll go over it with the buffer, no compound. So. Alright, well, I'm going to end her here and get going. So, o'clock in the morning. All right, it's two o'clock. Took me an hour to do this one side. So, not perfect. Can't talk straight with my missing front teeth. Right in here, it was kind of hard to get around all that. Hazy spots. I'm not sure why. There was some lettering on there at some point or something, but there was, I don't know. I hope he's gonna be happy with it. I don't know. I guess I kind of see a. guys that's what I'm doing so yeah I actually started using this and uh, put it on six and it seemed to work pretty good but then I still have to go over it with the buffer lightly so all right